Thank you for clicking play on the video. I'd like to ask you to click the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so that you can get alerted every time we bring out great content. Thanks. Hey YouTube comic community, this is Jimmy the Geek Aficionado, and I am back with another treasure hunt haul. I want to tell you guys about this wonderful Christmas gift that I got from my wife, this Jenny Frizen Wonder Woman statue. Uh, I actually found the book uh, that uh, this uh, rendering came from. It's actually just about like this much of the uh, of the actual statue that you see that's uh, that's in the book. That's the cover of the book. Uh, and if I had any forethought, I would have brought it out and put it up here. But I am working on getting it slab, trying to get a nine eight on that to to put next to it for a nice little showpiece. But I wanted to to bring that out and show it off. Um, and then we're going to get into a little bit of a haul. Found a new store that just recently opened up um, in the uh, in the Chicagoland area. And uh, I went in there to meet one of my customers um, to do a drop off on some books. And I was checking out what they had. And, you know, they're just getting started. But apparently he's selling from his own personal collection. Um, and uh, he, had, he had this beautiful copy of Johnny Quest number five with an Adam Hugh, I'm sorry, with a Dave Stevens cover. Uh, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And, and the conversation we were having is that this is likely a 9.8 candidate. And uh, and we were both thinking it, it would be better served slabbed up, especially with all this black here that can get uh, damaged. So we may very well actually send that guy off to CGC for grading. Uh, just because it's you know, not because it's got a high value or anything. I mean, I think he threw it in with the uh, the lot that I bought, but but because it's so high grade and it's just a, a beautiful Dave Stevens cover, so that will likely head off at some point. But what I was mostly uh, drawn in by is uh, is this next book because uh, it was well actually it wasn't this book. It's the book after, but. Uh, we're going to show this one off. For those of you who are unaware or weren't really collecting comics in the uh, in the early 90s, late 80s, uh, this is from a company called Kamiko, and this is Grendel number one. Uh, this is not the first appearance of Grendel, however, this is but this is his first issue of his own title. Um, it, it's, it's in really good shape. It's, it's probably like a seven or above. There's a number of spine ticks, uh, over here and a little, little chip out of the spine or a little s separation or something like that. Um, but I mean, all, all over, it's got thumb impressions all over it. And, uh, that's all stuff that can probably press out. So it might end up getting a, a pretty high grade. We might be able to get it up into the eights, uh, somewhere in there. But I think it's, I think nines are, uh, a long ways away. Um, but what I really, what I really saw that really caught my eye is something I've never seen in a, an actual comic shop before, uh, at least not since it came out. And that's Kamiko Primer number two, and this is the first appearance of Grendel. Now, this book is super hard to find. It's never in the wild. And it, when it is, when you can find this book, even on eBay or, or, or some other uh, site, it's it's pretty abused. Again, lots of black, and black does not survive the test of time. This book is easily a 9.4. I'm going to get it graded, and we'll find out where it actually ends up. Um, but it's a gorgeous book that I was super happy to find. But this was just sitting uh, on top of a stack in a case. Uh, this one and the Grendel below it. So these are incredible pickups that I'm ever so happy to find because these early indies are not easy to come by. They they really aren't. Uh, and we're just going to keep keep visiting that store from time to time and see what else they might have. Because while that wasn't the case, on the wall was this beauty. Mr. Miracle number one. First appearance of Scott Free, Mr. Miracle. Uh, this is, it, it's it's up in the eights. 
uh, I got this to go with the, the other one I got. <laughs> Um, looking, you know, I mean, anytime I come across a high grade, uh, key like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoop it up. It needs cleaning a press and, uh, and we're gonna see where that, uh, where that guy ends up, uh, when he goes off to CGC, but another great purchase, great price, uh, and, and one that is just, you know, quickly, uh, trending up in value. All right. So this next book is not from that store. So this next book is one that, uh, I I got from a I'll I'll call him a friend. It's somebody I, I've bought from before. Uh, he hit me up. I, he knew what my list was this year. He hit me up and says, "Hey, I've, I've got something," and uh, gave me a price, and uh, we marked it sold, and uh, he sent it off to me. So this is from Lord No Prize, it's a Teen Titans number one. Uh, it's we both, I think, had it at about a 4.5. It could probably go to a little higher, but uh, what's what's off about this book is, if you can see it here, there's some it's a little bit of chipping, and uh, the cover's a little brittle. Um, so it just, you know, there's a little chip out of the corner here, too. It, it's seen better days, um, but we'll clean it and press it up and uh, and see what we can get out of it. Uh, and I'll probably be on the lookout for a higher grade copy anyway, uh, just because you know I'm 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 wanting to get the series, and at least I have got one that's you know maybe a reader copy, uh, and we'll find out uh, if I can uh, if I can find an upgrade. But right now, not really worried about it. Still a great looking copy, um, just you know good visuals, and uh, and that's all I got. So thank you for clicking play on the video, and we'll catch you next time.